Hey YouTube, I'm camouflaged today because I don't have any face paint on as you can tell because you can see all of my freckles, all of my marks. My chin is still breaking out from I don't know what, probably from that mask. Today I am going to show you, well this evening, <laughs> my Sephora Rogue Cell or Rouge Cell haul video and I can almost guarantee you this will be the most boring one that <laughs> you will watch on YouTube. I think about what I have in my collection. I think about what it is that I want to get, what I'm going to actually use. And when I look at palettes, there's palettes are just coming out left and right as usual. And I look at the colors and then I think about, do I have these colors already? And usually I do. I'm very more so on the warm tone palette side. I think warm tones look best on me and also bright, bold, really saturated colors. And so those are the palettes I gravitate to. And then when I look at them online, I'm like, I kind of already have all of those. And I do have a video showing my palettes and why I love them and that I do have all the palettes that I really feel like I, I not need, but that I need. And so I received my Sephora <laughs> um, box today. I'm just now opening it. So that's what all of this noise is. And so keep in mind, I just got what I really feel like I will actually use. And I was tempted to get some of the Pat McGrath palettes. Um, I don't like applying shadows with my fingers, and so that kind of always deters me in getting shimmer palettes. And it seems that most of hers might only have like one or two mattes, and then it's all the shimmers. And yes, they're pretty, but I want to use a brush. But I was really tempted, but no, I didn't get any. So... We're going to get into this box. It'll be quick, very boring, I promise you. So if you thumbs down, you can't say I didn't warn you, but thumbs up because I'm being honest up front, right? All right, so I'm taking out the paper. I'm going to have to clean this up later. Got a little packing slip, sample. There's another sample of something. Um, bare mineral sample, complexion, rescue thingy in here and I will probably give these away what I definitely use is the Sephora I always read it like I don't know what it is Sephora bright future gel concealer and the shade is 11.5 butterscotch the one I am currently using where is it it's right here it expires in December and the other one I had was number 13 which is caramel which sometimes it seems to work and then sometimes it doesn't. So I don't know. So I got two more of the 11.5 Butterscotch Concealers because when I do put on foundation, nine times out of 10, I do put on concealer. I put a, a little stripe here and a stripe here and then I blend it in. Um, yeah, this is gonna be boring. I bought three <laughs> Estee Lauder pumps. They're $10 a piece. And so I knew I wanted to have additional ones. Some of the reviews say that after a few bottles of the foundation, the pump stopped working. And so I said, I will just get extra pumps and have those on hand. And also I am experimenting with um, additional colors in the Estee Lauder Double Wear Stay In Place Makeup because when I wear the shade that matches me in natural light and in outside and daylight and also like in my bathroom, it just in general, the shade that matches me, it looks too light on camera because of the lights. And so I'm finding that, okay, well, I can just put on a darker shade of foundation when I do videos so that it doesn't look too light. And the reason I didn't mind doing that because this foundation is $43, I got it on sale during the Ulta sale. It was like, uh, I forget how much it was, but it was not full price. And I had rewards points. And so for one of them, I think I paid like $8 because I used rewards and then there was the sale. And so my shade that completely matches me is into, I'm sorry, 4 into Spice Sand. And then I had purchased 5W1 Bronze because someone that wears the same shade I do, they mix the 5 one I'm sorry, the 5W1 with another shade, but this is like way too bronzy bronzy. It works for camera, but it's too bronzy bronzy. So I said, let me try an in-between shade. And so I have 4W1 Honey Bronze, which I think this will work for camera and maybe 
out in natural light depending on what powders I put on my face after that. And so that too is why I got three of the pumps. So I'll have an extra one for the one that matches me and I'll have a pump each for these. And I really wish that they just came with a pump, but they don't, but anyway. So also because the Sephora eyeliner, what is it called? Eye pencil to go, and this is the only size they have, which is a mini size. And it is to go, so it's a small one. This one does not irritate my eyes when I wear it, but I find that the next day my rims are a little sensitive. But I don't have itching, I don't have redness, I don't have swelling or anything like that. And so I do like this. And the one I'm currently using is navy. So I went online and they did not have navy. And so <laughs> so I was really disappointed because I do prefer like purples and blues uh, for my waterline. And so I got two of the... I know what's on here. What is the color? Oh gosh. Two of the night blue and two in black. But I know I will actually use them. This is where it's going to get ultra boring. <laughs> Everything else, I'm just going to throw this box down and take out what's in the box. The rest of what I purchased are brushes. Because um, I do use brushes for to smooth out my eye primer and also for my concealer. And so I was reading reviews and I purchased the Liquid Touch Rare Beauty Foundation Brush. Reviews were saying this was good for concealer because of the shape. So people were not liking it for foundation, but they were liking it for concealer because you can get right in here and I'm not touching my face because I always wash brushes before I use them because I have sensitive skin. And so I purchased this. <laughs> to use for concealer. And I purchased two hourglass concealer brushes, which are the number five. And I do have their, their flat shader brushes and their domed brush, and also their angled eyeliner brush. And I do really like them. And so I purchased two of her concealer brushes, their concealer brushes. And I like that the bristles are longer because then when I wash them, I can squeeze more of the water out after I rinse them versus when brushes are really short, it's hard to squeeze the water out and then I'm thinking water's just going back in. So I purchased two of these and I do think I will really like this because I will be able to get right here into the corners and also for my eyeliner, not my eyeliner, my eye primer. And the other thing, so here's the other hourglass one. And the last thing I purchased, yes, the last thing I purchased, this is, what is this? Well, it's another brush. <laughs> Makeup Forever Professional Straight and Wavy. And the number is 234. What type of brush is this? I'm looking on an angled shader brush, it says. And I think I purchased this also for <laughs> concealer and for primer because it does have an angled tip and I could probably use this too for like lid colors but I purchased it for concealer because with the point you can just get in there and dab that in and on the outside so that's everything I purchased so yeah completely boring let me know what you purchased from the Sephora sale that's going on right now it started you guys know when it started <laughs> Because this video is all over YouTube, so I'm not even going to make up stuff. I'm not going to babble. But let me know if you only just purchase things that you know for sure you're going to use. Or if you splurged and purchased other items that you normally wouldn't purchase because of the sale. Especially if you are getting the 20% off. And so that's kind of what I want to know. Well, not kind of, but that is what I would like to know. Do you use the sale to purchase things you normally wouldn't? Or did you just purchase additional things that you know that you will definitely use things that you already know that you like so that's the question thank you for watching and you'll see me in the next video bye